As one of the projects in this module, we create an elastic band powered car, but we've also looked at how we could also power the car by using a microwave. Now, um, as part of a solution, we have looked at something like this. Now, this is a micro server, which is used in things like model planes or model cars. Um, the difference with this server is that it will continuously go around because most servers will go say one way and then turn back the other so it'll go 180 degrees with movement whereas this is a little bit different. Now I've programmed this microbit at the moment to power this servo and I've basically got a, a loop which um, is a for loop and it'll power this for um, it, well it counts to four it's not exactly four revolutions if I just play it you can see that this is actually turning a few times and then obviously it comes to a complete stop which is exactly what we wanted to do now to make this project a little bit better and um, what we wanted to do is include this into a car now if i just grab the car really quickly here just push that back a little bit um you can kind of see here what we've got is a cog on the rear of this so this cog that's here is powered rather run by the servo which is underneath here uh, and that then is linked to another cog this is quite difficult to see there's another cog right in the near the wheel there so it obviously then will turn once there's power on now it is a one-to-one -one ratio at the moment so it's not going to go anywhere fast however what we've also done with this is we've made it so that it's essentially a radio control car. Now, if I just load another program onto my micro bit, so I'll give you another really quick demonstration of what we've done in terms of loading things onto the micro bit. Sorry, not loading, remotely controlling. So I have my remote control here, which is essentially just another micro bit, and it's set to obviously send and transmit the signal. Now I've sent it to transmit a one and a two. So when I press button A, it's gonna send a one to the other micro bit, and then that will start turning. And as you can see, it's obviously turning. And then when I press button two, it'll stop. So essentially this is a very simple remote control. Um, what we're gonna do now is look at the code involved to actually build in it. Okay, so the first part of this, we are going to create the controller part for the micro bit. So you need two micro bits for this. So what I'm going to do is we're going to basically use the wireless transmitter that's built in. So it's basically Bluetooth. Now we are going to click on the radio and then we need to basically set a group which is at the bottom here. Now if you've got more than one micro bit in say a group you'll obviously need different pairs so for example if I have this sender as group one then my receiver needs to be group one as well so if I click drag and drop that first so I'm going to set this to be group group zero first of all so ID zero and as you can see in here the slider goes all the way up to 255 so you know it's going to be very rare that you'd have uh, a room full of 255 different micro bits so we set the group as zero and I'm going to set transmit power as well so I go back into my radio and we look for the one that says transmit power now you'll notice that doesn't really appear anywhere here because you have to click the more button and set transmit transmit power here is there now again you can see this is up to seven at the moment seven will give you the maximum range I typically always look uh, and put this on seven when I use this now that part of it is set I always do like to put some form of shape in here so I'm going to show an icon and um, what I'll do is we'll do a smiley face so we essentially as soon as the micro bit boots up it's going to set its radio to zero we're going to set the transmitter power to full and then it's going to show a smiley face on here now we need to do a forever loop here so what I'm going to do is when a button is pressed on the sender micro bit so the controller it's going to send a number to another one and then we're going to use that number then on when we program the other micro bit so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my logic and we're going to do an if statement so I'm essentially going to do this here if and drag that in so you can see I've got if true then well we need to change that so I need to say if button A has been pressed so if I go to input and we look for button A so what I want to say is if button A has been pressed then 
I'm going to send a number. So I go back to my radio, and then we're going to send number, and I'm going to send a number one. Now I need to do another if statement. So I could do another if and here, but I'm just going to do uh, an else if here. So I'm going to do else if if I open my input again. I need button A again this time because I'm going to change this part of it, this part of the condition to B. So if button B, then I'm going to send radio number two. So I'm going to go back to my radio and we're going to send radio number two. Now that piece of code now is pretty much done. Right? I am going to tidy this up ever so slightly and get rid of this extra else because I don't actually need it. So that part of the code is done. Now what I'm going to do is call this controller and we're going to download that and save it. So the next part of this is where we're going to create another part of the project. So you can see now for the uh, car part we are going to obviously have to set the radio group. So again I'm going to click on radio and then click on radio set group and um, we're going to have to set it then to whatever the, the transmitter is. So obviously my previous one was set to zero so I'm going to set that to zero. Um, I also need to set the transmitter power so again click on radio click on more and then I'm going to make sure then it is at maximum power so that's the start and if I just bid in that forever looks we don't need it now obviously the transmitter is going to send a number over to this one which is going to control a car so we need some form of basically received number command. Now if we look at the inputs, we've got shakes, we've got on button clicks, on pin clicks, but we haven't got anything that says when received or on radio received. However, if we click on the radio, you can see we've got on radio received. And then we have a variable here called received number. Now just to show you, when I go into my variables, there isn't actually a variable here. So this is quite handy because this creates a variable for me. So if I click, hold, drag and drop, and now go into my variables you can see that it's made a variable called receive number now I need to get this so where it says set receive number to zero I need to click hold drag and drop and put this in because what we need to do is when the receive number comes in we need to set it to the variable called receive number so I'm just going to go back to my variable and drag that in like so so as soon as it receives a number from the other micro bit it's going to then set it as a variable called receive number. Now I want to make sure that I can see that number, so I'm going to go to show number and essentially it'll basically show me a number. Now at the moment it's set to zero, so I'm just going to grab my variable again and put it in here. So if number one gets sent over, it's going to basically receive number one, set it as receive number and then obviously it'll display me the number. Now from this point on we're just going to do some simple logic. So if I click my logic here and I'm going to click on my if statement and we're going to add two in and I'm going to take out the else because I don't need it. So I'm going to say if the received number is so I need to click my logic and I'm going to click hold down drag and drop the comparison. So I'm also going to go to my variable and click my received number. So if the received number is equal to, well, we need to say 1, then what we need to do is turn the servo on. Now the way we do this is I go to the advanced, I go to the pins option, and what we're going to do is we're going to set right pin, which is here, and we're going to give it a number. Now I've played around with these settings uh, for a little bit and what I found is a number of about 250 works reasonably well. So I'm just going to move this down and press 250. Um, I have played around and as I said you can go up to about 400, 450 but I found 250 works well so I'm going to stick it to 250. And then what I want to do is I'm going to do a pause and then I want it to essentially show an image again. So I'm going to go show icon and then we're going to do an image. Now I want to get a really simple image here so I'm just going to do that. The small diamond there we are. Great. Now we need then to also do another if statement just to say that if the received number is 2 then we need to stop the car. So I need to go to logic and I'm going to go to the comparisons 
go back to my variable and I need to say if the received number is equal to 2 then we're going to use another one of these analog pins so I'm going to go back to my pins click on analog right pin drag it in and what I'm going to do is reduce it all down to zero so this effectively turns it off now once you've done that you can name this something like car and then save it and then that will download for you now when you come to send this you basically send it to the micro bit as you would normally and you send then the receiver code to the sorry the transmitter code to the transmitter okay so this is the car connected up uh, as you can see I've got a little case on here just to protect the micro bit um, it's a laser cut case as you can see by the side here um, we've connected the pins up and for an extra bit of protection I've taped everything together so that the, uh, they don't actually get caught in anything and we've got the uh, wireless controller here I say wireless controller is just the other micro bit which is programmed so when I press the A button one it comes to life and then obviously it starts to move and when I press the two button or the B button hopefully before it gets to the edge it stopped there Oof. Really, really, really close. So that's how you create a remote control car using a micro bit and a few crocodile clips and a servo.